town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. There was only one way to find out. What's up everyone, thanks to fellow traveller for the review code, we'll be looking at Beacon Pines on the Nintendo Switch. This is an older title, but thanks to DD Bash for reviewing this one, let's find out if it's a gem that you may have missed. Developed by Hide in Spot Games, Beacon Pines is a single player puzzle adventure indie game that is set within a storybook. You play as both the reader and the main character Luca, trying to solve the mystery and uncover the truths within the small town of Beacon Pines. You as the reader get introduced to the world of Beacon Pines through a classic storybook opening sequence, with a narrator reading off the words on the page. You discover the story you're about to read has not been fully told and the way it ends is unknown, even to the narrator. The start of chapter 1 introduces you to the main protagonist, a young white deer named Luca Van Horn who pays a visit to his father's grave who he had lost 6 years prior. Luca's grieving is interrupted by his best friend Rolo, a hyperactive liger who is eager to start the first day of summer. After leaving the grave and running through a field of dandelions, Luca sneezes which unlocks the first charm, Tickle. Rolo tells Luca he has plans for the summer, but he cannot tell him here as the plan is too risky for the potential listening ears lying around Beacon Pines. Rolo tells Luca he will meet him at Mission Control, also known as the treehouse in the middle of the forest, as Luca needs to let his grandmother know what his plans are for the day. Players get introduced to the first turning point in the story, which is a gameplay aspect that uses charms to progress the plot. Along your journey, players discover that Luca's mother has been missing for quite a while and strange and mysterious things are happening in Beacon Pines, especially in an abandoned warehouse that has been glowing green. After making a plan to uncover the mystery, Luca and Rolo hide in a dumpster by the abandoned warehouse where they discover a person in a yellow hazmat suit. This stranger disposes a big blue bag and to Luca's horror discovers a dismembered hand. The pair run home hoping to get away from whatever horrors lie in the warehouse. Unfortunately, the next day Luca is informed that Rolo is missing and never made it home the night before. The reader and the player start the search for their best friend and uncover the mystery that Luca is entwined with. The gameplay of Beacon Pines is quite simple in terms of controls as players use the left analog stick to control Luca and an action button to talk to villagers and interact with objects. An interesting aspect of Beacon Pines is the charms and the chronicles. Charms are small tokens you earn in the game that have a word and an image engraved. Oftentimes, these words are actions or phrases completed in the game or heard by other characters. For example, you can earn the smack token by repeatedly smacking the large watermelon. These charms are used to complete sentences that can drastically change the direction of the story as the player can influence the events of the game depending on what tokens they have. This is called a turning point. Players can alter the story but can also go back to previous turning points through the Chronicle, a book that has all the turning points branched out like a family tree and try various tokens they have achieved throughout the game. While this sounds complex, it's fairly easy to grasp when playing through the game. Beacon Pines is visually pleasing with a soft colour palette and a painterly style that you would find in storybook illustrations. Every area in the game features beautifully detailed backgrounds and buildings that capture the essence of a small town. Everywhere is filled with foliage and pathways that help guide the players on where to go without being distracting or breaking immersion. There are extra details that make the overall experience delightful and this happens when the camera zooms out to show the book and you get to experience illustrations side by side with the text and page numbers. Beacon Pines is a delightful adventure story driven game with fantastic characters, an engrossing plot, fun puzzle elements and a whole lot of adventure and mystery. The use of having a narrator who is voiced by Kirsten Miz allows the story to be told engagingly but also assists the player in how the game is played. Almost all NPCs can be spoken to and the players get to know more about the people that reside in the small town. The game can be completed in around 5-7 to seven hours depending on the playstyle and whether or not you want to discover all 13 different endings. For this review, Beacon Pines was played on the Nintendo Switch which ran smoothly and was a comfortable experience both docked and in handheld mode. Beacon Pines would be classed as an essential buy for those who love beautifully crafted and interactive storytelling. At its price point, Beacon Pines is worth every penny and worth picking up straight away. To those who prefer waiting for a sale, it would be an essential pickup. 
An important note is that though this may be visually appealing to younger audiences, Beacon Pines is a Peggy 12 as it does have some dark themes and some bad language. Beacon Pines is out now on the Nintendo eShop priced at $17.99. Big thanks once again to DD Bash for writing this review, thanks to fellow traveller for the review code and of course to all of you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the review, subscribe for more like this. I'm Dan and I'll see you soon. family moved often, giving her little time to establish any real connections. She would tell you she prefers it that way. Luca shifted his feet uncomfortably. Beck pulled a coin from her pocket.